And welcome back to Swooning Over Stands, a grunkle dating simulator. And we're back in the creepy Bill Cipher room with all the weird oddities. We got a bottle of green liquid, maybe? Or maybe it's a green bottle, who knows? We got fish eggs, or maybe googly eyes? I'm thinking that's probably googly eyes. It makes sense. I, I would think fish eggs because, you know, this is Ford's spare room, so it could be something weird. Do you know what would be hilarious, though? What? I bet you, it, in Stan's mind, he probably took a bunch of googly eyes, attached them together, and is proclaiming their weird, bizarre fish eggs. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like a creature that's all eyeballs. Yeah. And of course, we have standard souvenir, souvenirs and cursed artifacts, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get on with it. Over the next few days, you continue to help around the mystery shack. Not out of obligation, but because you have nothing better to do. Besides Seuss, practically the golden retriever of people is really digging the input on the current installments from an outsider's perspective. <laughs> Bless his soul, the guy even offered you a job if you end up stranded here forever, dude. <laughs> and needed to make a life for yourself. Stan nearly choked on this ice pop as he overheard. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thinking about it now, the relationship between Seuss and Stan is unexpected. If not a little odd, but it makes you smile that no matter how many times Stan may roll his eyes as he does it, he'll always help Seuss get something done just right. Listen, Seuss, you have to charge more than just $5 for the product. You need to charge 15 well, well, Mr. Pine, sir, well, that's what we were charging originally. Why would we up the price? Upcharge, fool, upcharge. Well, well, you got it, dude. <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. <laughs> Showered and dressed, you go outside as per usual and don't see anyone. After a few minutes search, you find Stan standing with his back to you in one of the exhibit rooms, admiring the weird and wonderful animal amalgamates he's collected for his tourist trap. Hand at his chin and thought. Hmm. And now we go to you live with Stan's thoughts. I'm pretty sure this can use more googly eyes. Uh, maybe I should have Mabel bring some more of that uh, grass and pretend it's fur again. Or uh, hmm, maybe I can put some pencils in here and pretend it can control reality. Uh, sky's the limit. Am I interrupting something important between you and the goose circuit? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Stan turns at the sound of your voice, smiling. Oh. Yeah. Nope. You need something? You have any plans tonight? Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow, we're being <laughs> awfully forward. <laughs> plans, huh? He mulls your question over for a mm. few moments, giving you an assessing look up and down. Mm, muscular, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you are muscular. I mean... Sturdy uh, fellow. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh -huh. you are sturdy. Uh, 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 well, uh, I've got a couple errands to run. Why, uh, you want to tag along? Uh, uh, sure, sounds like fun. All right. I'm heading out in a couple hours. Uh, meet me out front. A couple, a couple of hours, but... <laughs> no buts, Trailer. You can't rush this stuff. Trust me. I mean, I guess so. Okay, sure. Not ominous at all, Stan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meet me out front if you think you can handle it. I can handle it. I'm, I'm a, I'm a big man. I'm a big old strong man. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, kid. <laughs> he turns to go, but stops for a second and then turns back. Oh, and uh, we're black. Something you don't mind getting dirty. That's a. Uh... A little suggestive there, Stan. Yeah, right. Suggestive of either crime or of other things. Activities, right. Uh -huh. And before you can ask why, he's gone into the depths of the shack. Stellar reading. I'd, I'd pay me. Yeah, I would. I'd a couple of hours turns into a handful, which you pass by watching some TV with Mabel and Dipper and dozing off. You have no idea what kind of satellite they get out, the, out here, but the shows are... Somehow super bizarre. Some of the most bizarre programming you've ever seen. Now, back again with the next episode of Detective Duck. Oh my god, Detective Duck, you're pregnant? Right. <laughs> and, and that concludes this episode of Detective Duck. <laughs> Once you've had enough of waiting and watching Detective Duck, you change into your darkest clothes and sit out on the front steps of the shack, 
watching as the sun starts to sink past the trees. It's cloudy and unusually warm for this time of day. But there's a nice breeze out. It's strange that these errands need to happen so late in the day, considering the things you've gathered about this criminal past. However, maybe this is typical of a weekday night for Stan. Bet you it is. Oh, look, I like this uh, palette change here. The, pa the palette change is good, and the costume change is good, even though it's he, he just put on the black shirt and black pants, but it's very... It looks it looks good on you, Stan. It, and in the afternoon light... Yeah, black is slimming. It is slimming. And it really brings out this muscular oh, physique. Look at those shoulders. So broad. The screen door <clears throat> creaks, and out comes Stan, dressed all in black, just like you are, with a lumpy duffel bag under one arm and a briefcase in the other hand. He's about to speak. A sudden gust of wind comes along and ruffles his hair. Ah, God. And he smooths it down irritatedly before regaining his cool and nodding at you. Ready? You know it. I'm, I'm always ready. I'm a big man. Ah, oh, God, kid. You're not going to keep saying that all night. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I just thought it was funny, but I can see him not, not into that. You slide into the passenger seat as Stan settles into the driver's seat. It takes a couple of tries to start, but the engine's chugging away by the time you've got your seatbelt on. The radio stammers to life as the engine does, spitting out a generic-sounding rock music into the leather-scented air of the car's interior. And here's a sampling of that music. Perfect. Uh, I'm just, I'm going to print it. We're going to sell it. It's its going to be great. Yep. A day out to the races, for sure. <laughs> and that's what we'll call it. Why we call it that? Who cares? It's As his favorite music. <laughs> after, after a moment spent adjusting mirrors and fiddling with knobs, Stan slots the gear shift into drive and pulls out of the Mystery Shack slot and down the road to town. Wow. Stan is muscular. It, look at that jaw. I'm like, he looks kind of like. I and Stan looks handsome, right? It's and ex extraordinarily handsome. Just very handsome. Like wow. a like a rugged aged cop. I'm right pretty now. sure he's in his 40s from this image. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a rugged aged de detective, right? And we're about to go on a case. But I know that's not the case because Stan is Stan is a wanted criminal. The radio's on, and Stan taps his fingers on the steering wheel to the beat of the music while he drives. So I take it we're not making a quick trip for milk and eggs. <laughs> Stan laughs and glances <laughs> over at you. Nope. Then where are we going? Can't ask that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. First stop is to see a buddy of mine. Ah, uh, Hunter. I get all my taxidermy supplies from him. So that's where you get your parts from? Some of them. Wait, what? Uh, well, yeah. What? No, what was that last part? No, don't worry about it. Uh, okay, only because you look so handsome in the twilight dusk. <laughs> oh, I just figured you got them from a local farm or something. <laughs> and do business with those hippies? Not a chance. Well, okay then. Well, I really enjoyed making that showpiece with you the other day. What are you talking about? I had no idea you were so creative. Oh, wait a moment. He glances over at you with a poorly hidden surprised look, turning almost immediately back to the road and shrugging. Eh. Well, uh, it's just gluing stuff together, you know, really. Stan! <laughs> That's not true. That's impossible! <laughs> it really takes a lot of skill. You have a real gift for it. I'm stroking him gently uh, 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 as I say it. Kid, get your hand off of me before I rip it off. You got it, Stan. <laughs> he turns to you again, and his cheeks go a little pink when he sees the smile you're giving him. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. After a moment, he faces the road again, but now he's tapping out the rhythm of the song with a little more enthusiasm and even humming the chorus as he drives. Who would have figured that Stan was into video game music? Classic video game music at that. Do you have any other hobbies? Uh, murder? He rolls his shoulders back. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, if you say so. He rolls his shoulders back in a shrug, his head tilting off a bit towards the window. 
Uh, these days, I spend most of my time out in the boat with Ford, hunting monsters, discovering things, meeting women, and finding treasure. You know, it's at my, it's at this point in time, I have to wonder what our character is like personally thinking in his head, right? Because he's been here for at least a few days. We're gonna say five days now mm -hmm. to cover the two days from before and the, like three days we skipped until we got to this point. Does he still think that everything that they're saying is just like? made up or pretend or hyperbole hyperbole or whatever because uh, is he are we gonna question it let's see if we question it he pauses watching the road without expression he does mm. not question it. we do uh, not question it yeah i used to box i can tell <laughs> you look like you could knock me out with half a punch Your big strong arms and that taut chest what are you looking at over there kid it's just, I can tell, it really shows. He looks at you again, grinning. <laughs> that's a, that's amazing. I, I don't know why I came out that way, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We, I, we all have a, a baldy level of uh, issues at some point or another. Wow, thank you for understanding. Oh my. I wish I'd grown up doing something like that. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh... I wouldn't mind showing you a few things, uh, if you wanted. Uh, oh no. Well. No, God, I think we like that. I think we like that a lot. I, I, I mean, I, I'd let him punch me. Look at him. He's so rugged and handsome right now. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. After about 20 minutes of rural scenery, Stan pulls off the road and onto a long gravel driveway that disappears into the woods. Is this the place? And I think at this mysterious location, this is where we're going to end it off for right now. Do you agree, Travis? I do agree that this is probably the place to leave off at. It's the perfect cliffhanger. Truly, because who knows what's going to happen at this point. I don't know. Certainly we don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So, thank you everybody for joining us for another video of Swooning Over Stands. We hope to see you in the next one, because remember, every video is a party. And you're always invited to the next one. See you next time.